Hello? Hello, I am back today with another poly gel removal video. I wore that last manicure for over three weeks and I just had to give my phalanges some time to breathe and grow out. I've been doing a lot of stuff around the house. It's so nice to have natural nails sometimes. Some of you noticed that in my nail polish declutter video, I had a nail steamer on my floor. Well, we're putting that bad boy to the test today, not only to remove the gel polish that was on top of my manicure, but the poly gel underneath, which is a nightmare to remove. If you missed my my last poly gel removal video, I will link it on the top right hand corner of the screen. The steamer is slightly different in the sense that it's just all compact and you do it all in one little steamer. It's more or less the same thing and you do kind of achieve the same result. I do want to do a follow up video to test it on just gel polish. I plan on doing a gel manicure pretty soon. Anyway, I want to keep this intro short. Everything that I use will be listed in the description box below. Stay tuned for nail videos very soon. My creative juices are flowing. I'm getting into the flow of things again. Christmas is around the corner, so I'm not gonna be as busy with like work-related stuff. And um, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. And let's get into it. I had a few of you suggest that I try out a nail steamer on my last poly gel removal video. And while I was doing my Halloween decor shopping in the States, I just so happened to stumble upon this Equate one from Walmart for about 20 to $25. I've only been able to find this at Walmart in the US. I have not seen it in Canada, but it's meant to remove gel polish. So I was curious to see just how well it would work on poly gel because poly gel is a pain in the ass to remove. The box comes with an instructional booklet, the steamer, two solution trays, an extra finger hole gasket which goes on the inside of the steamer lid, a stainless steel cuticle pusher tool, a nail file, and a power adapter. Here is my spooky poly gel manicure that I had on for over three weeks at the point of filming this video. And if you missed that tutorial, I will link it in the top right hand corner on the screen. So the first thing I'm doing is taking down the length of my nails with my tip cutters because less length means less filing time. My tip cutters are super sharp, so I always do this very slowly slowly and precisely. Once that's out of the way, it is time to file off the top layer of my nails and I'm not even bothering with my hand file today. I'm using my medium grit ceramic safety bit and like I said, I am filing off the top layer of my gel polish. Normally, I would file down as much of my gel polish and poly gel as I possibly could before starting the soaking process, but today I decided to leave a bit of my gel polish and poly gel on my nails to really put the steamer to the test. I will likely do a follow-up video using the steamer where I file down as much of my poly gel as I'm comfortable with, but for today, we are really gonna see what this bad boy is made of. The on and off switch and power port are on the back of the steamer. So I'm plugging in my power adapter into the steamer. I'm taking some of my 100% pure acetone from Walmart and I'm pouring it into my little solution tray until it reaches the 60 mil line. The instructions state that you can use between five and 60 mils. So I'm using the full 60 mils just to make sure that my nails are completely submerged. For best results, I would recommend using 100% acetone when removing gel polish or poly gel. I'm then taking the lid and I'm locking it into place. The steamer has three little indicator lights on the front, heat, steam, and finish. When I hit the on button, the heat indicator will begin flashing red as the acetone begins to heat up for five minutes. Once the five minutes are up, the heat indicator will stop flashing and will change to a solid red, and then the green steam indicator will appear. At this time, I am bending my fingers in T-Rex form and I'm sliding them into the little finger holes, submerging my nails in the warm acetone and letting the steamer work its magic. After five minutes, the steamer will make a beep sound to indicate that the cycle is halfway finished. And then in another five minutes, it'll make a longer beep sound to indicate that the cycle is finished. And at that time, the yellow finish indicator light will appear. Thank you. 
I'm now taking the cuticle pusher tool that came in the kit and I'm scraping off the poly gel. While the first round of soaking did soften the poly gel a bit, which allowed me to scrape some of it off, it was nowhere near soft enough to get it off completely in one go. So after scraping as much of it off as I could, I soaked my fingers not only a second time, but a third time. The second time around, I took a tip that some of you gave me on my last removal video, which was to add a little bit of coconut oil into the acetone to moisturize my skin and cuticles a little bit when soaking. As you may have noticed, when I first took my hand out of the acetone, my skin and my nails looked like they had been through it. I scooped out a teaspoon of my Trader Joe's coconut oil, I placed it into the acetone, and I popped the lid back on and started another 10 minute soaking session. The steamer was already warm from the first round, so the little green indicator light was already on. Midway through my second session, the steamer beeped and then continued on for another five minutes. And when I took my nails out of the steamer for the second time, you could see a significant difference in my skin and my nails between my first session with just the acetone and my second session with the addition of the coconut oil. While they still look a little bit dry, they're nowhere near as dehydrated. So I really liked this tip and I would highly recommend it. Okay, round two of scraping the shit off my nails. I managed to scrape the poly gel deep enough that the tip started to pop right off, which was nice, but my thumb and my index finger, they, they just didn't want to leave the party, you know? So I decided to trim off a bit more of my index finger with my nail clippers, and I went in for a third soak. I know that the scraping process can look a little bit tedious, but unfortunately, I don't think there is a way around doing all of this to remove poly gel, and to be honest, the steamer is not much different from the DIY method that I'm a guyver in my last poly gel removal tutorial. The one plus side to using a steamer that is all ready to go from the store or online versus the DIY method is that you don't have to worry about putting all the pieces together yourself or worry about spilling everywhere because you have one compact little steamer that is ready to go and use. I tried to get as much of the poly gel off as I could using my cuticle pusher tool before throwing in the towel and moving on to my gentle nail file and my buffing block to get off the last little bits that I couldn't scrape off. This step is where the magic happens and my nails are brought back to life. And in case you're wondering, my gentle nail file is a 240 grit. Once I finished filing everything off, I washed my hands with some soap and warm water and I rehydrated my thirsty ass cuticles with some cuticle oil. This is a cuticle oil pen that I made myself with one part jojoba oil and one part sweet almond oil. I had initially made these for Chris because he has the driest cuticles and they're always tearing, but I ended up keeping a few for myself. Although it appeared that I put my nails through hell and back during this removal process, I think in the end they look pretty healthy. As for cleaning the steamer, it's super easy. All you gotta do is remove the lid, pour out the acetone, wash the tray with a little bit of warm water and soap, remove the finger hole gasket if you need to and wipe it off, wipe the inside of the steamer with a little paper towel if you had any spillage, and that's about it.
Alrighty, that completes this video. I hope that you guys found it helpful. Everything that I use will be listed in the description box below as always. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. And I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.